Hello and welcome to our new webinar today for Qualify Cabling for Beginners. My name is Alexander Boy. I'm a product manager here by Softing and responsible for a lot of products behind me. When you join our webinars very often, then you know we have a co-pilot always on our webinars. And I want to introduce my colleague for the webinar now. Here, yourself, please. Yes. So, hello. Um, very, very welcome also from my side. My name is Alfred Huber. I'm the technical manager here at Softing IT Networks, and I'm today um, co-pilot. Um, I, I feel more like the steward today in, in the airplane. Uh, so, my job is today to, to sit in the background and to answer questions. Um, as you can see, somewhere on your screen, you see a kind of a control panel from GoToWebinar. And there are two folders which are interesting. One is called the question folder. So if you, if you raise a question or if you get a question during the presentation, just type it in immediately. Don't spare it or save it to the end of the presentation. Um, I will try to answer it immediately. And if the question is relevant, we will discuss it later here at the end of the presentation. The second folder, which is interesting, is called handouts. So the presentation you're going to see soon now from, from Alex, uh, you can download during the presentation. That's important, yep. not later, just during the presentation. And I think there are also some, uh, some uh, product informations to be, to be available for download. Exactly. I think that's all from the housekeeping, and uh, <laughs> I wish you a very nice, pleasant flight today with Alex and uh, 10 gigabit Ethernet. Thank you very much, Alfred. You're very welcome. So, welcome to the presentation now. So, it's really up to 10 gigabit for beginners, and um, the agenda for today is really, uh, you see here listed uh, behind, it's where is softing IT networks, then testing of data cablings, applications for qualifying testers, our device and network expert himself. Um, then we have a lot of material on it, on the handout, and some questions. It's also on the end possible. So, um, who is softing the brief introduction? Um, when you join our webinars very often, then you see always this introduction. I do it today really short. You see uh, Softing is a share uh, company. Um, we have the headquarter in Haar, nearly to Munich. It's, uh, it's founded in 1979. And yeah, uh, we had uh, approximately 400 employees. And you see here on the right, we have three divisions under there housed by Softing. It is industrial. It's with industrial product technologies. We have automation with a lot of uh, electronical parts for diagnostics in cars and um, to see the relevance on it. And we are in the middle of this as IT networks and have also some interesting testing products in between and together with the automotive and industrial sector. The IT networks have also a lot of key points directly. So future oriented technologies is one of the parts where we are working and say we have to see what's going on in the market and have new testers for it. Fast service is really important for customers to have when a tester is for calibration or a repair on it that we have a fast turnaround and cycle time. Um, when you have any specific question of testers, products, whatever, we have a tech support in English and German language. And yes, we are a German company and also the design and the quality of everything comes from us directly. So global offices, yeah, global offices is important. You have uh, directly communication in Europe means with us here in Munich or uh, in Europe with a lot of sales locations, also in Asia or in the United States, we are located and have a lot of colleagues um, for our business. Technologies, measurement technologies, we see, see here an overview of some of our products. It's starting really with the top product, the main product is the Y-Expert series for certifying of fiber and copper cablings. Then, um, for the um, fiber optic tier two measurements, we have here our OTDR 5000, a really 
important product to see a lot of failures in the fiber optic. Um, Cable Master Series, there is a brand new device, it's the Cable Master 210 in the market. It's a really simple verifier to detect failures in, on the um, installation. Or uh, the uh, Cable Master 500 is available. Then we are talking about other, a new other product is the Link Expert Series here. It's the Link Expert M3 and TP for testing. What means M3? It's for three media, for copper, for fiber and for network testing. Um, then also um, the Fiber Expert 700 is a tier one uh, certifi certifier, um, also on the fiber optic measurements. And yeah, on the end we have here also Wi-Fi detection units and all this is in our product family, just a short overview about our products. Today, the NetExpert is the most important product as our qualifier. But when we go back to the basics of Ethernet connections, then you see here maybe a really old history picture, but this was the beginning of the Ethernet connectivity. It was in the 70s and Robert Metcalf was the developer, the engineer to present and organize and create the Ethernet protocols. And you see here on the list, there is a lot of um, new standards was coming out in the 80s, the IEEE standard, ISO standards. Then we are starting with the old BNC token ring uh, cabling systems is, is not really now available, but this was in the, in the 80s and the 90s, an interesting part. Then we starting up with the 100 Mbit gigabit and then now to 10, 10 gigabit Ethernet. This was really the history to now. And one of the last updates on the standards for it was 2016, the N10 base T standard, where is also inside 2.5 and 5 gigabit per second measurements. So this is really a high range of um, new applications and testing scenarios. Sometimes customers are a little bit confused of what is really means with 10 gigabit. You see here, we had a lot of different writings of 10 gigabit. You see with big uh, characters, small ones, a mixture of everything. Uh, don't worry or uh, uh, don't confuse you. This is all meaning the same. It's also in my presentation, it's a little bit a mixture of all of these namings. But you see also 100 Mbit, gigabit and 10 gigabit. This is the real important speed now for the um, measurement in the network. The OZ reference model, this is really an overview for the Ethernet transmission. You see here on the picture we have here seven layers. It's starting really on the physical, on the data link, on the network transport, then over to the sensoring presentation application mode. This is really a part of the Ethernet and transmission. Um, and what does this really mean? Normally we start on the physical layer zero. That means this is the cabling, installing himself about the quality of the cablings. Then we go in the physical area and then to data link and also to the network and transport area. This is a, a part in this OZ reference model where we are and where we have technology and testers for you and uh, for testing. So that's, it's a really interesting part and it's really structured how to use um, the Ethernet transmission. Why we are so structured on this? When you see an overview of, an, this is an example of a uh, network, and then you see we have really in the middle of our working stations places, yeah, switches, routers, server conditions that we are handling and we have in the network structure really to see how it really it really works it is really correct installed and it later on really to measure on it so this is a really important thing why we use the ethernet protocols so the require data rates are going really higher and higher what does it mean so the in the most on the clients or on the workstations um, it will come one gigabit or uh, 
the next step is to 10 gigabits. So and that means that we, we need higher uh, rates for some technology. So one of the parts is for the camera control system market. Then access points comes more and more in a higher range with Wi-Fi 5, Wi-Fi 6, also with IEEE 802.11ax.n and so on. There's a lot of speed and access uh, needed in the future. You see also the data rate is really growing in a, in a higher rate. And we have to define how good is our installed um, cabling system and how good is it to measure. So, testing of data ca uh, cablings in general, there's a lot of different steps possible. The first is really the way to the right measurement. That means really you have to define really clear um, with the you when you're working as contractor, uh, everything is clarified and all relatively points you have really in written form. Also, when you're using standards for a standard measurement, for example, a certification, then you have to find out the standards himself, you understand and you use it correctly in the installation. So, for example, for a copper cabling standardization, you have the right ISO or a TRA norms to use that it's really then later on on the, on the protocol all correct um, informed. Then also um, the definitions of the contract and the content of your contract. It's really, you have understand, you know exactly what is to do for the installing of the system and later on on the measurement of the systems. And what is agreed, this is always to do and um, you cannot change anything. So the best way is really you're sure on, on your, uh, with your uh, contract is everything clean and good defined um how to handle install and measure later when we talk about standards and norms then you see there is a lot of uh, standardizations um, in the worldwide business it's with the tia with the iso norms with the european standardizations and this is also split it up to cablings components the wiring on the cablings the installation and then we have to define it as uh, certification here on top for the certificate uh, with a certifier for example with the wire expert or we have to do a qualification about IEEE and then you have to choose a qualifier for example a net expert so when we see here a basic test measurement things that means we want to find out how good is my wire map, my installed cabling, is everything correct installed, then we can do that very simple with a type of verifying, check the system himself. The next step and one of the most important steps then is the transmission performance testing. For example, we want to really see the security on it. Is one gig, 2.55 gig or a 10 gigabit uh, measurement uh, really access, successful and uh, the installed cabling was really defined on this and we talk about here for qualification and the, on the top of the level is really the certification standardized with the norms and the standards to use on a frequency based measurement this is also um, the three steps where we have to define this is really started with verify qualify or on top certify also here in um, better displayed with some uh, testers. So it's really beginning with the verifier technologies here with the Cable Master series. You see here on the screens very easily, but good present to see the, the details on the wire map, on the lengths or on the faulties uh, on it. The next step is really the qualifying to see the speed performance up to 10 gigabit with um, reports. And on top we have the 30 Vacation certifier products, also with a detailed reports with standards on it, um, maybe to 500 megahertz or higher. An interesting part here also, you see here on this chart, we have here a frequency range from 1 to 500 megahertz. And this you see here also inside the typical curve 
a structure of a measurement, what you can do with a certifier with the y expert, you see the structure. And in between here, you can see the speeds, the speeds what we are always talking about on the frequency steps. So 10 base T, um, 100 Mbit, gigabit, or a, a 2.5, 5 gigabit, and on the end, 10 gigabit per second. So this is really an overview where we are in the range of speeds in compare to frequency measurement. It's really an interesting point to understand more the, the definitions and the details on a frequency or on a speed transmission. Yeah, for the um, qualifier market, we have yeah some target markets or applications where we have to see. And you can see here typical Ethernet. And around on the Ethernet, we have five key points. You can do some installing. Data center, provider markets. You can do some installation on commercial buildings. Industrial automation is really an interesting part for the future. And the typical Soho small office, smart office area. And this, a lot of this part here is in the range of 100 Mbit or a gigabit, but on the data center, it's the most of the time we know it is in fiber optic installation, but also on the on the copper side, it is in is a growing a market and also more uh, introduction for qualifiers to check the speed on it. So when we go step by step, what are doing people in these markets? Then we see here, for example, one market is for electrical installers. So what are doing electrical installer? He do typical installing small uh, business, small installations on copper in home office, um, smart office uh, area. Um, yeah, what they are installing? Access points, um, short cabling installing with some um, yeah switches maybe, or a, a security market, cameras installing and housings and so on. This is the typical market. Uh, automation area, controlling of doors, etc. This is typical market. And want what on the end of these applications? Yeah, they want to do uh, a check of the installation with the bestest qualification or a minimum is minimum a troubleshooting of the installed uh, parts. System integrator market. It's more interesting and in, also inside data center, commercial buildings and industrial automations. That means more, yeah, and a higher rate of hardware systems with switches, access points, and also building automation, but on a higher level. And also the network troubleshooting is there really important to see. It's really the, for example, NBASE T standards are possible to running on the systems. Security market also a higher range and official buildings, uh, commercial buildings, data centers with some camera um, security controls, and also as uh, the service is coming in a higher rate. And um, yeah, you need access points with Wi-Fi in a, in a higher rate. And also here is really a pre-qualification um, needed and um, really good to to have before. Network operators, you see, this is a typical owner maintenance. They do it in all segments here, in all the parts around the Ethernet. And qualifying network troubleshooting or the certifying is really needed to see all when you go more in the active network device in the IP MAC address area. So you see there is a lot of different segments inside the typical qualifying market. The last point, what is also, we have not forgot this, the industrial automation market. It seems also there is some old automation systems in the market and there may be the, the migration in higher protocol um, Ethernet territories is, is needed. Maybe from 10 and 100 megabit to gigabit or in the future to 10 gigabit Ethernet. And there is a lot of different connectivities on it. So RG45 or M8, M12 decoded, X-coded, so it is more industrial orientated and secured uh, connectivities and some roboter systems and electronic um, systems on it. And yeah, this connections is also here maybe an interesting overview. I mean, you know, not seen that before. Um, you see 
this is not a typical network infrastructure, this is more here with some sensoric points or there is some robots, controllers inside um, and all the specification and with all of the different combinations of connectors it is an interesting part to handle this and to measure this and how this is possible is uh, with a qualifier they have all the adapters for the systems. Measurement options and the details for a qualification. So how we can handle this? So um, when we are beginning in a, in, a, in a testing scenario, the first thing we have it here on top is the wire map. The wire map is really the first part um, to see yeah, troubleshooting and fault detection. 70-80% in the structured cablings had um, a failure on the wire map with opens, with shorts, crossover cablings and etc. And you have to find out and detect it with a, with a qualifier um, including fault detection, TDR measurement etc. When this is included, the next interesting point is SNR, signal to noise ratio. And this is a part in every cable you have a noise. This is um, typical on copper cables. And this is also a part of the measurement to see how good is the quality of your cabling. You see here also in this chart, this is always to see uh, the signal on the distance and you see always there is a noise and we have to detect and measure this. Bit error rate testing, short word is BERT testing. This is really we sending over the installed cabling um, data packages. And this is starting really from the beginning of the main unit over the complete structured cabling to the remote device. And then you have to sending back these data um, to the main. So this is a complete bi-directional measurement. And with this data um, package error measurements, we see when you are under 0.1% failure rate, then you receive normally a pass on it. When you come over 0.1%, then it normally comes on fail and we have to find out what is really the problem on your speed on the, on the line. Another interesting part of the four good things is the delay and skew. Um, what does it mean? Um, oh, we go back for a second. This, you see here the four cable uh, pairs here inside um, installing. And there is some, yeah, different wiring and twisting of the pairs directly or also different lengths on it. You see here also there is more wideness, there is more drilled together and this, uh, yeah, it's in a typical copper cable is the definition that you can have pairs that are longer as the other pairs and we have really to check how good is the performance with the delay and skew measurement on it to see later on the in the active network testing, for example, gigabit works really fine without any delays or uh, freezing on active lines, etc. So delay and skew is the fourth interesting part here on the measurement. This is maybe a good example, maybe when you are a driver with a car on the street and you comes on a traffic light. The same is when you comes with a qualifier to the wall outlet here on RG45, a copper wall outlet. So you can go in and connect it, but you never know what is behind this um, RG45. What comes? It comes to, is the street in the same condition, it works fine and you can drive over there, or you will have some failures on it, problems on it. And for this, we have really to check not only the, the beginning of a network in a copper cable, we have to do a complete test. And this is really the bi-directional bird testing scenario. It means really we can detect also failures after the uh, first wall outlet or if, uh, after the panel. So we're really doing a test from the main, going over the complete line to the remote and then we have the measurement back to the main unit as bi-directional bit error rate test. This is a really important thing to see how good is the performance of the network. Hmm. 
when we are looking about um, yeah, competition, what are they doing in the same market of qualification of cablings? Here is an example you have here on CAT 6A or patch panel, normal use. It's completely, uh, completely um, designed and also the cabling is connected uh, to the wall on the other side. Yeah, and on this side we, we have connected the devices, there's a main unit, and on the other side we have a passive remote. And we, we are not sure we can detect really maybe a bad cabling what is displayed here. So maybe this cabling is worn out, this is not really good connected, whatever. So they are starting also to measure, to qualify with some test. And they're seeing on the first, okay, on the CAT 6A panel, everything is fine. Then they're going to the remote side. And there is only a passive remote. They are not possible to do really testing via speed back to the main unit. So and we are not sure they can detect really faults or problems here on the other side. And this is really a not 100% correct qualifying of the speed of the network. So we are not sure uh, we can find problems in the network. They give only a really a result on the beginning of the cabling length or on the detection on the panel, but not a complete overview over the complete network system. It is also possible that some other competition devices cannot measure on one port a complete system. Uh, what does it mean? So for example, you see here on top there, they have two RG45 ports. One is only for wire map and one is only for Ethernet connectivity. So we want to measure a cabling system always incomplete. We want to see the wire map, we want to see the data, transmission speed, the bird test, whatever. And in this case, you have to connect first the wire map port and then you uh, connect the Ethernet port. So that means we have a double time to measure, to start again, to um, reconnect to the other plug. Then um, also the cycle time on an RG45 is also limited. You know that this is in the range of 70, 50 cycles per port. And then maybe you have to replace it. And when this is a hardwired um, RG45 plug and there is a burn out conditions on it, for example, with PoE, then you have to send in in a service center for a replacement. And this takes time, costs extra money, you're losing your tester, maybe some weeks before you receive it back. And um, this is a really uh, not good technical design or make no sense for me. And it is really important when you have a reporting on a qualifying system that you have all included. Wire map, bird testing, signal to noise, uh, um, measurement and not only one separate wire map or only bird testing results. For this case we are, have really a good solution in our net expert. You see here on the main unit and also on the remote unit we have replaceable RG45 plugs. You see here there are two screws you can open this pull out the RG45 plug and you can replace it really fast with a new one and you can start really to measure. And you, you see here also in the pictures, power over Ethernet uh, measurements up to 90 watts, that can really comes with, with sparkling or uh, with, you have to see maybe some, yeah, burning connection connectivities and then you have to replace your RG45 plug and for this, is the chance to do it really, really simple on our NetExpert device. So a copper functionality on a qualifier, what is from our perspective the, what we need to measure? So for copper cablings we want to see from 1 to 10 gigabit. This means we have to combine four different tests SNR, BERT, delay and skew, wire map. We want to do troubleshooting on passive and active networkings and also power over Ethernet measurements. It is a part to measure all the classes to class 8 up to 90 watts is really needed. When you want to see more 
on uh, in detail about PoE measurements or active measurements, we had on our web page uh, a lot of seminars recorded. And also next week we have a series with a lot of more information and news um, about active or fiber or a copper cabling. So feel free to join also next week our webinars. Okay, um, fiber optic functionality on a qualification, qualification device. That means for our measurement type, in this case the net expert, we need for a fiber optic measurement two main devices. So that means this is our plus version. In the plus version, it's, it's possible then to measure um, with SFP modules. And this is really starting to see a BERT test again, BERT on fiber for one and 10 gigabit Ethernet. The loss and the length is possible to measure. And then also inspection of fiber optic ports on the top, the cleanness. And you see here we can split it up maybe here, it's an example on it on a micro, with a microscope on four different fibers and compare and you can see always on top how good is it. When we go uh, inside more in details of our uh, net expert, how easy is it to create a project? So this is um, a simple thing. First is to configure a, a project is really to start here with a name and with a lot of details and starting to um, um, with a name for your project. Then you can find out or select here a lot of cabling types what is automatically here inside from CAT5, CAT6, CAT6A or you can create your own. You can detect here the speed what you need. You like a shielded or an unshielded cabling and then you can say also oh, I want to see crossover cablings or something like that. So it's really here on this large screen to yeah, select and to configure the standard. Then um, also the labeling, you can define really you want to see the floor, um, the ports, the outlets, the room where it's all installed. This is easily to select this and on the control panel you can do that for 24 uh, ports or for a um, higher range of ports. And then um, on the end, you can really select to start your measurement and then you start it and then you see after the measurement automatically how good was the wire map test, the length of the cabling is also included when you uh, do first uh, the correct NVP value on it. Um, it's important for the length of the cablings in copper. It's mostly in the range from 69 to 80%. Um, it's in, for unshielded and shielded systems and normally you can find this status for the NVP value on the cabling himself on the data sheets. Um, then you can see also the correctly length of the cabling. The SNR is included um, where we are talking and on the end it's a really good icon here to see yeah we have passed for example here 10 gigabit Ethernet with the BERT test and we have here under the wire map is it's displayed we have any failure rate on it. It's also really important to see how good it was the performance. Um, troubleshooting, when we go in tools, so we have a separate mode for tools, that means you can do measurement only simplified alone, that means wire map alone or port detection, bird testing alone, um, for copper and for fiber, it's also possible to do microscope testing, bird testing, or a life light. When we go a little bit in details, how easy this is. The first is, yeah, wire map and the margins on it. Again, you can see here on the simplified tool test again the wire map and your setup definition, and you can start and you see really fast the result on it. Um, the next is the port detection or also the power over Ethernet measurement. You see what is detected, on which port you are, which speed uh, was on it and also uh, which class was detected and how good was it. So this is also really a big part here of the measurement. And then yeah, the Birch test himself for copper gives you always the details 
here it was passing with green or you have a fail on it, then comes a red icon. When we go to Fiverr and tools, then we have also the bird test available, the same what we have in copper, we do it in Fiverr for 1 and 10G. Then the microscope testing is also here defined via the IEC norm 16303.35. This is also here selectable and then we see a lot of zones inside A, B, C, D around the connector. That means we see in the middle the core diameter and around and you see here there is some, maybe some dirty connections, um, problems on it. Then we have, uh, yeah, the next step is really to clean the fiber optic. This is with a click cleaner and everything to do you're really sure that the connection are, are, are clean and you can do that normally at first and then you can do it with your microscope to check and also to save the result or inside the device and later on the report. How good was the cleanness of the connector? Um, yeah, life light is another interesting measurement. We have a trademark on it. It means this is only in our device available. We can loss testing over time. And this means really when you have in a, in a fiber optic um, measurement some different changes on it for temperature, or you have some moving, some bendings uh, with different type of fiber optic cablings, or um, some splices and so on give a, a, a different problem. Then you can see that here on this curve characteristics, the, the differences when you do some uh, um, testing on these fibers with our LifeLight connectivity. Active tests, it's also network testing is more and more important, not only the passive structure, only you can see then when everything was defined, the bird, it was okay. How good is running my active network um, when I'm starting this? Um, so what we can do here, you see here a lot of test possibilities from DHCP test, ping test, trace route, and we go more in details about this. That means an active test, um, it's starting now with typical DHCP testing to see which IP address we, we have here detected and what is the result on it. Also, it is everything fine as it's um, on the switch connectivity. And when you have a VLAN port detection or uh, information on it, when this is available on the port, we can see and show it here also. And um, then really on the end, um, we have LLDP and CDP, also the link layer protocol or the um, CDP, the Cisco discovery protocol available. And you see a lot of details from your networking when you're as connected and you're testing on this. Network detection is also interesting about, yeah, displaying network discovery and all the IP addresses, what is inside the network. So you have a lot of switches, workstations, routers, whatever inside, and we can detect it all with the correct IP address um, on it and also duplicate IP addresses is an interesting part. Also to show, to see there is maybe some duplicated IP addresses that is um, address area, then um, we can detect this. And important is we can all have this uh, in a reporting style. Here it's possible to have it really safe later on, in, for example, PDF report. This is here a screen, what you can see um, as overview for the port detection on the network discovery with all the, the routers and all the switches and all the workstations here on the side. Um, yeah, and this is also possible when you don't like PDFs or so that we can show this to you in an Excel sheet. Good, the reporting, we come back to reporting again. We have it really for, yeah, uh, different technologies for copper, for fiber, for microscope testing. And this is a typical PDF CSV with we, what we can create in the device and with a an USB stick. You have it then later on available. Um, and we plan also for the next year, we have a PC software where you can upload your test reports, then you can do a lot of things uh, inside to define and then later you can create a PDF. The same 
um, what we do uh, what we do with our um, uh, certifier in e-export software. An overview of our versions. You see, we starting here with one gig version. Then we have a 2.55 gig version, the 10 gig version, and then we have the plus version. So that means it's really starting, um, yeah, with one gig, and then we go in the higher range of the speed qualification, and on the top and on the end, it is including for copper and fiber. And you see, copper is always with a main and a remote unit, and on a fiber, you have two. A main unit and one remote in the setup. Also, when you start with a one gig version, you, it's possible to upgrade with licenses. It's easy to say, okay, I started with one gig and go up to 2.5, 5, and 10 gig. Then you can own or you have a, maybe included a license. You, we upgrade your devices and then it's, it's a possibility to measure the higher bandwidth rate up to 10 gigabit easily. Inside of the packages, we have um, the standard size stuff here, the main, the remotes, lithium ion batteries is included, uh, we have hard cases, everything. So this is a complete package for you. Uh, and on in the fiber version and the plus version, there's a lot of couplers and um, SFP modules, including that you have a complete set and you can start now when you open your hard case to measure. Um, yeah. Op optional accessories is also an interesting um, part. For example, when you have a plus kit, um, then you have two mains and one remote inside, and you can buy a separately uh, remote, and you have two separate possibilities to measure for one and 10 gig copper, for example. We have also remote kits available only to detect wire map without a um, virtual testing scenario. Then port detection is possible with 24 port uh, identifiers you can connect on a panel and then you find out easily on which port is uh, which uh, identifier connected. Cable probe is also a possibility to find cabling connect connections with a sound, with a noise, with a beep on it. Yeah, then optional and it's really important for fiber is a microscope and to measure really um, on fiber is we have optional one and 10 gig uh, SFP modules available. When we go back to industrial, this was one of the parts for, uh, before in our segments with uh, testing industrial uh, connectivities. We have a lot of cabling and systems optional available for you. That means really for the wire expert or for the net expert, all the cabling systems included for M12, X coded, decoded is available. And um, interesting, maybe when you're in, in, in the interesting market, you, you can buy it, you connect this on the device and you can start easily. So a summary, a summary really, uh, again, is, um, of the net expert. From our perspective, we offer the most complete qualification test setup. BERT, signal to noise ratio, delay in skew, wire map, and also the length measurement as possible in a complete auto test, or you can do it with separately tool measurements. What is really needed to qualify up to 10 gigabit is a full Bidirectional measurement and functionality, not only testing from one side or a meaning. Yeah, it seems that this one gig or a 10 gig okay, but this was not completely measured from both sides. That's not correct. Bidirectional measurement is needed and important to see how good is your speed and the, the network. We have um, yeah, a combination really from passive cable tests, PoE active network testing, troubleshooting, and one device. This is really interesting for you. The, the large screen on the main screen is really easy to use with the touch. Is You can see everything and can tap really fast all your setups. We have a replaceable RJ45 port on top. When you have any problems, when it's worn out, it's easily to replace. You can do really an upgrade from 1 gig to 10 gig when you start with the smaller version up to 10 gig with a license program. We can do a fiber optic uh, attenuation test 
um, we have the live light is the testing over the time to see some problems in the cabling himself. And on the end, for sure, we have also a microscope included for testing as, as an optional part to see really how good is the fiber connectivity. So all of these key points is really important from my perspective to do a complete qualification on copper and fiber up to 10 gigabit. So from my side, this was today the interesting part for beginners, a lot of beginning of what does that means in the, in the Ethernet and then how it easily to use with one of our testers. Thank you for your attention and then I will ask Alfred, we have anything to discuss or we have any questions now from customers? Yes, I'm back again from my desk here. So first of all, thank you very much, Alex, for this very comprehensive overview on the situation of the application, of the Ethernet application, the overview on the market, where is it spread out and where are our potential customers for the instrument and of course for the detailed Few to the net expert, wonderful. Um, um, actually, we got questions, a few mm -hmm. non technical questions and a few technical questions. The non technical question yes, Oktoberfest starts on Saturday and the probability of rain for next week will be very high, so <laughs> don't leave the beer tents. Um, technical question um, I think the, the two most interesting ones are the one for um, standard ones, let's say, for the net expert is mm -hmm. um, the net expert has so many functions, as you explained us, so it's very detailed now. Uh, does it replace a certifier? Typical question I think we see every year. No. No, no, there, there are definitely two differentiations, different uh, approaches to acceptance testing of a network. So this was my answer as well. It's, it's, it's a certain replacement in certain environment. Let's mm -hmm. say if you come to a very small installation, maybe the customer is not interested in a certification detail report on RF parameters. There, the net expert is the instrument of the choice because it gives a statement your network is working on one gigabit, 10 gigabit, and so on. Exactly. Yeah. Second question, which is also upcoming again, is calibration. Does the net expert need to be calibrated like the certifier once a year? No, it's not even if needed. So we have a, a qualification over speed and not over frequencies. And only a, a tester where we can where we measure uh, frequencies and standard size then we have to recalibrate also the device and all that stuff together that works under the conditions what is needed for this. So this is only needed for the Y expert series, but not for qualifiers as the net expert. Okay, so typical certifier story. Exactly. Okay, I think that was it from the interesting part of the questions and uh, I will disappear again and leave you the last words. The last words is thank you very much again. Um, we are happy to see you next week on our next uh, webinars for copper, for fiber, for um, some interesting parts. Um, yeah, say thank you, goodbye, and see you the next time from Softing side.